Unity. Community. Purpose. Action makers. It's a unique club in a sense. Like compost bins. Exciting. Leadership. Ambitious. Creative outlook. Important part of Bristol's legacy. Garden club. club. I started Gardening Club in July 2021. I really have a passion for the environment and gardening and I thought what, what better way would there be to bring that to the forefront than to start up a local school gardening club. So I went to the headmaster and I gave him a proposal about our gardening club that I got about 25 people to sign off on and needless to say it was approved and here we are today with our bustling garden and what a great time it has been uh, i started gardening club because i thought it would be something nice for everyone to do it would bring everyone sort of together and i also thought it would be something nice to do for the local community to make everything sort of a bit greener especially in a time where skill in gardening is something that's being lost Currently, it's December 2021, and we're, we've only just started at Gardening Club, really, but already we're starting to see some major improvements to the site. At the moment in Gardening Club, we're in the middle of just setting up everything. So we're doing stuff like varnishing wood and clearing stones. So far, our members have started tilling up the old uh, soil. And this soil was the old foundation of the school's canteen. So there's loads of concrete and stones and other who even knows what's in there. We found a, something that looks like a landmine. It's a laborious process, getting all of that out of the soil and getting something that we can actually grow some good crops in. But that's coming along very nicely. And we're also starting working on our raised beds. So our gardening club engineer corps have started assembling these beds together out of old scrap wood that we've got from a local house building firm. Um, so the Gardening Club Engineering Corps, we're responsible for building all the structures gardening uses. So we're building things like compost bins, we're building the raised bed. We're also making our first compost bins, which is very exciting. We started working on our compost bins. These are a vital part of any garden, particularly at the school, where there's so much food waste that just gets thrown away and sent off to landfill. So we have loads of coffee grounds from our school's cafe. I've only really, really done mulching, I mean. And most of the time I'm just mulching. What is mulching? It's just like composting. Yeah, it's oh, okay, it's cool. It's literally, it's literally, Compost. it's literally turning, I mean. Oh, is it turning the compost bin and making it like? It's basically, yeah, because uh, it's not just turning compost, we have to like do all these branches. So oh. We have to like break them out. Basically compost bin, lots of grass. Uh, at the start, they chucked a bunch of branches in, which won't decompose for a really long time. Right. So that was an issue, but then they kept chucking grass on it. And now that's been decomposed. Our main aim is to be as uh, environmentally responsible as possible, and we also want to reduce costs. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to use uh, wooden pallets, which we've gone for free, and we've been connecting uh, connect them into a square structure. And then what we've also done is put chicken wire over the sides, which will stop the compost falling out, but it also allows the compost to be aerated, so we'll, uh, so it'll decompose quickly and also much better for the environment. And we've also put a cover on top to stop it getting wet. Yep, I have seen the compost bin and I was very impressed about the you know kind of skills it's teaching people, the manual labor, the uh, teamwork, the uh, being collaborative and supportive. I'm often asked, you know, what does gardening club mean to you? And over the many times I've been asked, I've really brought it down to one word. And I think that word has to be unity. Gardening Club allows all of us to come together in a way that really we don't see very often. We allow ourselves to get so wrapped up in conflict with competition, but Gardening Club allows everyone to come together for a much better cause. Probably the most important thing is that it really builds our sense of community. Our gardening club is a really tight-knit group of people and without the garden there, we wouldn't have formed those bonds in the first place. Before gardening club, I was sad and alone.
now I'm just sad. I find that gardening club is a good opportunity to go outside because I feel that people these days and like me, we usually spend our times online, talking to people online, we're not really getting out a lot. So I find that going to gardening club is actually a really good way of talking to people outside as well as doing something which I haven't really tried before, which is gardening. It's quite nice to be outdoors, physically getting your hands dirty in the mud, getting growing stuff, and it's something that you don't do very often in uh, modern day life. So as an external student, obviously, I, I don't know everyone very well, and everyone was already in, in their groups when I arrived. And obviously the first year was, was fine. Um, I met lots of nice people, but, but going to gardening club has made me um, talk to people that I don't usually talk to outside. And I've made lots of new friends through that. And I think that's the, one of the amazing things about Gardening Club is that we're all a, a large community and it's all people working together towards a, an end goal. Uh, to me, Gardening Club is it's about the people who go there. As long as people go there, it'll always be something nice. I feel it gives me purpose. Uh, on a Wednesday, it's good for a physical activity and I believe that it, it can help in leadership skills when commanding around year sevens. All of my subjects focus on academia, so it's really nice to have a creative outlet inside the school. I think that, at least for me, Gardening Club has bought a sense of community that I didn't feel we had before. Again, we go back to unity. Um, it's always nice to just be together. Um, and I think Gardening Club yeah, definitely gives that opportunity to, to the people who needed it. Gardening Club is more than just a club. It is a society of people, a society of action makers, a society of prag pragmatists who want to do well for the world, for good, for good for the Greens and good for society. And for them, I, I thank them. For their service. I think that gardening club provides almost a unique sort of, it's a unique club in a sense because I'm aware there was a gardening club back in the 50s but I don't think there's really been a club of its kind. Obviously they, on uh, the way to the art rooms there is already a, a historical plaque about the gardening club and I think um, it was it's kind of saddening that they hadn't continued that and I think now um, obviously it's been restarted um, we're carrying on an important part of Westcliff's legacy. It's just different. It's just a different kind of club which does different kinds of things, I guess. Gardening. Before Gardening Club came about, there was not a single uh, gardening society, even in a classroom. So I believe bringing uh, our skills and leadership, especially to the younger years, is really important to teach them skills to do with gardening. Gardening Club is a very important thing for me personally. It's given me an opportunity to develop myself and take on leadership roles that I really hadn't done before. It's allowed me to connect with some people who I never thought I would. And it's given me an opportunity to really expand my horizons. I don't have anywhere to grow outside of school, so this land that the school has given me, it's very helpful for me personally. But on top of that, we're adding value to the school's grounds. You know, before we started growing, the land was barren, all muddy and covered in brambles. But now we've given it a massive facelift and it looks much better than it did before. And on top of that, it's eco-friendly. So improving our school's green, green credentials, which is always a good thing. I have genuinely slightly increased my muscle mass. Uh, from carrying pallets around, so that's nice. Personally, it's helped me. It's helped me get a lot closer with a lot of people in my year who have similar interests to me. It's helped me become sort of a bit more assertive, which is something I've always struggled with. Helped me to realise that it's okay to sort of give people jobs when they're in a position of sort of management. And I think that's very important and a skill that I will definitely take forward in later life. I think Gardening Club provides an environment it provides a good green face for the school in my opinion.
although we've already done so much at gardening club the joy with gardening is that there's really no end point you can keep on going pretty much forever so what we really want to do is start greening up the rest of our school's grounds and there are loads of charities that can help us with this that allow us to purchase some trees and then plant them around our school grounds so in february i believe we will be able to get some trees in if all goes to plan and there's no more lockdown shenanigans also we plan on just continuing our garden we want to get some perennials in so some apple trees some pear trees and other bushes such as strawberry bushes that can give us fruit year on year we want to continue our trajectory and get the school way up here in terms of their eco-friendliness and one day we hope to start supplying our school canteen with some of the stuff we produce in the garden I think my plan for the future would quite simply just be to finish up with something that other people can take forward to finish up at the end of this year when we leave the school with something that people in the younger years can next year start up again and say right where are we going this year sort of something that can impact for generations and for a lot of different people rather than just peter out at the end of our time here um, I'm hoping to see some, some beautiful end results and a nice bed of flowers, you know, I think that'll be the, um, the true measure of Gardening Club's success is, is you'll be able to see it. I would really love to see a diverse amount of plants on our allotment as well as potentially involvement from the teachers to help the younger years as well as us going forward. For the future of Gardening Club, we're hoping to expand to younger years so we get even more done. Well, I'd like to see Gardening Club actually have its pro have a product as in grow vegetables flowers maybe even some trees i mean we all envis envisaged gardening club to be this the final result to be prosperous we grow we grow food we have a wide assortment of flowers that's why we're making great beds for example we want to make it almost self-sufficient which is why we have compost which is why we want to take um, food scraps from the canteens and the cafeterias. We want to make it this eco-friendly club. And at the end of the day, who knows where we'll take it. Our friend Charles passed away in September 2021. It was a tragic loss for all of us. And to honour his legacy, we plan on planting a memorial for him in our garden. And I think planting memorial for Charles is like this nice send-off for Charles almost. It's like a, it's a recognition of the friendship that we had and we still have obviously he's still here with our mind and i think that having a rose for him is just like this uh it's a subtle reminder almost that there was a person called charles roberts who for a long time lived with us not in my house in our but you know in school he talked to us he was friends we laughed with all those things and you know it's just nice to remember that for the years to come and even for people who didn't know him it's just a reminder that there was a boy called Charles Roberts who, like them, attended the school. Uh, I'm sort of a, a f not a fringe member, but I, I obviously um, I'm not there all the time at Gardening Club. But what amazes me is how there's always something to do there, and there's always new ideas happening. Like one day I turned up and they were they were digging a pool, and I was I was really excited that there's so many projects going on, and um, every single every single thing is. Uh, probably down to Ollie's leadership and it's really impressive that he's been able to, to bring this from, from just an idea to a fully fed uh, club with, with so many so many people involved. Tell me about your leader. What I think about his leadership, I think he's really got a, he's definitely got a clear idea about what he wants with gardening club and he's definitely got a command of people. I can see that people have clearly already divided themselves up into different groups and I think that He's very, I won't call it persuasive, but he definitely has the support for sure. He definitely has the ears of the people in Gardening Club. So I think he's doing a pretty good job of it. He's definitely got a very clear directive of what he wants done. Though I don't know how long it'll take, he's definitely got the plan out. Well, I don't think anyone else would have um, thought of making a Gardening Club other than him. I think this is entirely down to, to his vision and um, the help from his, his close friends to sort of get it up and running. So yeah, I think he is the, 
the sole contributor to starting Gardening Club and setting everything in motion. I heard um, Jim McCarthy is um, he's quite an uh, ambitious young lad, but I do see it becoming a global sensation, realistically, um, under his leadership. Do I think it could exist? Definitely. It could exist without Oli McCarthy, but I just don't think it'd be run very well. I'm Srinivasan Logan Ivan, the head boy, and I approve of Gardening Club.